Welcome Unreal Developers, in this video we are going to fix some issues we got in our save game, stay tuned. So first of all I want to tell you about all the bugs I found. One bug is this here, as you can see I can't hit this item when I shoot from it from here. But when I save and I load, I can hit it. This is because we are creating a new actor and it has also a new lifespan and that's the reason why the bullet can fly way longer. Another issue we got is, these are actors that have already been created when the world was loaded. So I just push some blocks down here and now as you can see this row is missing. We are going to save it, we load it and everything is fine. But if you are closing the game and loading the game again, you will see they are back here. We need also to keep an eye on them, they have to be destroyed when we are starting the level new. Another issue is with a newly spawned actor that was in a quick save game and we reloaded. When I now save our game, I will shoot the bullet and then I will load the game again and the bullet will still exist even though it was not there when the game was created. So I save, I move, I shoot and I reload and as you can see the bullet is still flying. We also need to destroy these items. And another issue we got, when we are heavily shooting and then we are spamming, uh, saving and loading, this issue can happen. We will fix this right now. And yeah, this failure message here is also an issue we need to fix. So to, um, to fix the issue with the collision of the bullets, we need to go into our bullet, into our projectile, to the collision component, then scroll here down to the collision preset and just check ignore other projectiles. In that way this issue won't happen again. And now we also need to extend our struct with the lifetime of the bullet. We can get the lifetime directly from our item itself. So let's go into our projectile struct, add a new variable, call it lifetime, and make it a float. So now we need to go into our first person character and we need to save our bullet time. So just go to your bullet, this is where I get all the projectiles, get into the array element, drag out the line and say get lifetime. Sorry, it's called lifespan, also okay. And drag it in here. So now we save the lifespan, then we need to go down here we are looking now at our world items, which are the cubes. We are tracking our line with control and the left mouse button somewhere else. And we say get all actors of class. And we want our test cube to be selected. So we are going to promote this to a variable and call it current world items. After this, we are going back into our for each loop. Now I'm going to create something uh, like we had down here. I also want to check the cubes that have been created and spawned inside our game world while we were playing. We don't have that right now, but why not? So we are also checking again if it is valid. As an input we use our item reference and if it is valid I want it to be removed from this list here. Remove item. Put in the item and connect the pipe up here and go further here. The idea behind this is if the item is in this list it means it still exists and these are all items in our world and I want to remove all the items that are not inside this list. So we have here populated all items, here the items that are still alive and after we have removed all the items that have still 
been alive, we got a list with items that have to be removed. So from this side we are done with that part. And now I want to make a what if, is this not valid, then we need to spawn a new actor. Spawn actor from class, and it shall be our test cube. And we need to get our transform. Then we need to set the linear velocity. Sorry, this one here. And we also need to set the angular. And in my case, it's decrease again. So then connect the pipeline and put in the values, the velocity, the linear into the linear and the angular into the angular. So now we can create the uh, cubes that have spawned inside the game during the gameplay. We got our list and now we need to delete all the items that are still in the world and they don't belong there. So we run a for each loop. As an input we take our current items and we tell him to destroy the actor. So save everything, go to play, and actually I go first into the projectile and I increase this value. So even though the bullet has a low speed, it has a high impact. So now we're shooting some cubes down here. We save, we load now. So this seems to be fine. We'll wait till some cubes have been destroyed. We're loading. Also, this seems to be fine. We're closing the window. We open it again and we load it again. So this is now fixed. This is okay. Um, we still need to fix our bullets. So go down here. It's pretty similar what we have to do here. So I increase a little bit my space. Then we drag off with control and the left mouse button. Then we say um, get actors, all actors of class. We get our projectiles. And we promote this to a variable again and call it current projectiles. So they are saved. Now we go into our for each loop. And now if it is valid, I want it again to be removed. Plug in our projectile. Then we can continue here. And now yeah, let's go on here. While loop, um, for each loop I meant. Input our projectiles and destroy the actor. So now they are destroyed. We get all the bullets in our world, all of the projectiles. And if there are some projectiles in the world that don't belong there, we are going to destroy them. And we also need now to plug in our lifetime. And as you can see, this here again was an issue because we are checking if it is valid. And if it is not valid, so it is destroyed, we are going down here into our new projectile we created. And then we are trying to set the velocity of the existing bullet. So we also need to split that up and we need to copy these nodes. We need to plug in our new projectile and give to it the velocity. So this is done okay. And we also now need to set our lifespan. And the same thing for the new created bullet. We also need to set here the lifespan. Drag in the execution pipe, drag in the time. 
So now we're going to save everything and play it again. So now I try to shoot again there. Should be too far away for me. That's okay. Now I'm shooting, then I save something and I'm loading it up. And everything is working fine, I can't hit them. And now I'm going to shoot a bullet and save. And when I load, it is still there. But if I shoot now a bullet, I save. Sorry, okay. Next try. I'm saving, turning, shooting, loading. And it is gone, the bullet. So now everything should be fixed with our save game. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.